Hey guys, Ultimate Yoshi here. This video is a bit different. Um, for one thing. Anyway, the entirety of this video is going to be a little, bit, a little bit of a clip show, pretty much. As you can see, I only have three health right now. As you can also see, there are no pictures on the left side of Kirby and his abilities. The reason for this is because I'm too lazy. But anyways, this is extra mode. Um, you get this after beating the game 100% first, and as you see right there, I showed a little secret that I didn't show it in the first, um, video. You can... A UFO ability is actually the fourth ability you can find after beam, spark, and fire. Which is kind of interesting. This is Vegetable Valley level 1-1. In this video, I will be showing various clips of things I missed along with various things in extra mode. Pretty much extra mode is... All extra mode is, is the entire main game with three health. And I lost my UFO ability, too, by the way. Alright, second clip. Level 1-2 of Vegetable Valley. There's a little secret here in this little alcove. There's one up. That's what the majority of this video is going to be. Showing things I missed on my original run. And that's pretty much what this ability... This video is going to be, so if you really don't care about things I missed, or what extra mode is, now that you've seen the basis of it, and pretty much nothing else changes, um, you can just skip this entire video. I don't really make much progress, except for beating extra mode. Also, I'm gonna be showing all the boss fights with an extra mode, because those are more interesting. As you can see, I pretty much own Wispy, as I should. With that, Vegetable Valley is all done. Next, nothing really new to show in Ice Cream Island. I didn't miss anything, so we're just getting, getting right in on into the extra mode paint roller fight. Though I do show that a lot of the abilities you get from the um, paintings, like you inhaling a car gives you the wheel ability. Wild Deek doesn't give you an ability. Oh, also, this entire video is after commentary, so yes, all this is pretty much after commentary. There's... Mm, I'm... I was completely silent while recording these. I did not record my voice while recording these. I am doing this. I'm actually watching the fully edited video. Well, it's not fully edited, but... I'm watching the almost entirely edited video, and when it's done, I'm just gonna cut in my... Commentary from Mistake, and that's pretty much gonna be it, and also I suck at paint roller, apparently. Because I was being stupid with the spark ability. Also, I apologize if the audio sometimes is, like, out of sync. Here I show... Crash... Crashing. Paint Roller drew a Kirby, that's something we actually- I don't think we actually showed in the original video. Paint Roller can paint a Kirby. I ignore the parasol, because it gives you parasol. It explodes! It's close to the parasol. And I'm feeling gutsy, so I want to try and take him out with the ball ability. I try and stay away from the Nimbus, and fail. I think that's the one time I've ever died to a Nimbus before. And yeah, you can see how the audio is kind of getting out of sync. And the first technical appearance of a walkie, even though I didn't draw him. Um, this is, this is something I should mention. Mike does more damage if you wait for all the health to drain down and then use the second one and third one. I learned this while watching my other videos. And Ball really destroys him. Cha! And there we go, there's Paint Roller, and that's it for Ice Cream Island. Um, this is the show in Butter Building that you actually need to hit every single switch. Um, the switches don't count. The ones you hit in main mode, they don't count next road, you need to hit them all over again. So you can just pretty much imagine what my run through Orange Ocean was like.
Oh, graphical error. The blur is in the video itself. Okay. Um, this is a show that I was actually right about this. There is a grand wheelie really fight in here. This is that one level in Butter Building that I don't remember. Yeah. And I get the wheel ability here. And I pretty much show why you get the wheel. Why it's helpful to have a wheel ability here. Crash. 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 Fade to buy. And. Here I show, since I completely skipped this room, how you're supposed to get these maximum tomato and blood. You just simply slide. That's it. Now it's time for Mr. Bright and Mr. Shine. I have one health. Who couldn't have seen that coming? So here I'm like, okay, I'm not doing this without an ability. So I just go to the museum and get the high jump ability. High jump, yay! I think high jump was my most used ability. Which is kind of weird, because I don't really- I never really used it this much before the LP. And what do you know, Mr. Bright and Mr. Shine boss fight that actually has sound. <sighs> I'm still annoyed that Vegas did that. I don't even understand why it did that, because in editing, perfectly fine, but... For some reason, the audio just suddenly died. Sorry, um... Here in Grape Garden level 5, I think. I don't think I ever did this secret before. Um, I only learned about it actually through Tor Kirby's videos. Um, this room drastically changed in Kirby's Adventure. So, this is why I keep looking down all these pits, because I know there's a secret in here, I don't know where it is, though. Wait, is that it? Yep, there it is! In order to get to that secret, you don't get hit by a Bronto Bert. No, instead, see that little green thing? You go down into it. And in here, there's Gordo, Double Kill, all the way across the clouds, Pep Brew, and underneath all the spikes, there's some suspicious star blocks. There's a door. One up, and I love how that room looks. Even if I only saw it that one time, it was still awesome. And there we go, you just climb up, and you are back to normal. That was the only thing I missed in Grape Garden, so I'm not taking on Cracker with Stone. Um, here I show how. The Let's Play Curse really truly affects you. Remember how terrible I was at this in my original take of Great Garden? Yeah, when I talk, I am distracted. And I start to fail. I don't even hit a single Starman on the way up, so... I don't know about you, but I think Krakow's like a boot. He's, he's, he's iconic, he's all... He's nostalgic, he's just, he's a cool boss, I like him. I like how the Starman's all gray there. It's like a cool shot. I like that pose Kirby makes, he's like, he's kissing. Ah, Yogurt Yard. If. Yeah. The... Okay, there it goes. There it goes. The background changed. Ah! In the room with all the changing... The, the paths and stuff. Um... Right here. There's actually... That's how you get that one up. See, this level? I don't remember what that one says. I'm not very educated. I'm sorry. I are stupid about level names. Which specific levels? Whatever. Meh. And that was it for Yogurt Yard, so now I show why Heavy Mo shooting hammer dip clops at you are a bad I is a bad idea. Even if he does hit you once. 
Um, he's a piece of cake with the hammer. Orange Ocean is next. Orange Ocean is cursed. The curse at Orange Ocean. And I'm sure you all remember this level. <laughs> level 3. I never showed this alternate path. The actual main path. In here, you have a 1-up, but you can't get to it. So, let's go over here. Can you get the 1-up? No, you have death! And the boost still hits it. Um, to get those, you go in the windows! Yay! And here... Over down here, while well, we have water... And here we have the top of that room that you every everyone hates. And also instant death if you let the fire the that walk away. And here's where you would end up if you took the secret path. Boss time, everybody! I'm sure you've all been waiting for extra mode Venonite. Oh, the hardest one boss, in my opinion, of this game. Ugh, even just watching it is, like, stressful. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it on this one. Spoilers, so many. Venonite is S-tier, you can't possibly beat him. BAM! Kill that men in my curvy. And Starrod materializes on Kirby. He's just that badass. Bam. Ah, the next part I've been dreading. Even talking about it, I've been dreading this. The boss tower. There's a secret entrance. You know what's so secret about this? Well, it's a bonkers. Is Bonker the first boss in this? I don't know, but he killed me. It just throws me out. You're not good enough! Okay, so the Bonker is... He's green! Whipping, 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 whipping. Ow. Missed. I'm such a great shot with the stars. I poop stars when I jump. Bonkers is really bonkers. I'm sorry, that was terrible. So, I try and keep my hammer to fight with the next boss. Fan Fan, I hate you! Insta-death. It's like, I have a threatening weapon! Nope. This is like... This one fight, this fan fan fight, is the hardest, the hardest part of this entire game. Harder than extra mode meta. Extra mode fan fan in the hidden boss tower. That's the hardest thing in this entire game. It's like, yeah. And all the while, he's grinning at you with derp eyes. I still want to punch him. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, though. Yay for weird take box. The problem is Fan Fan's just- this Fan Fan is just so aggressive, and I walked right into him until I, there, so I have nobody else to fault but myself. As you can see, I'm probably not gonna do this on my first try. <laughs> well, what am I saying first try? This is my fourth try. Fifth try. Oh, bonkers. This is actually my best take of him, so far. I was going into this completely blind. I've never done this hidden entrance before. I only learned about it through one of these videos. So next we have Bugsy. And this Bugsy's really fast, too. And he's ugly as ever! And 
and Bugsy killed me. Bugsy is a real... He's just... He's a... He's... Let me just say... He bugs me. I have nothing to say now that I've said that terrible pun. I just... My mind went blank. And that I don't think was fair, he bounced! Cause like, I'm victory posing, yeah, woo! <laughs> I kinda like that photo. Uh, it's just... It's this torture, this is torture, watching my failures on this. I never liked Bugsy as a boss in this game, and I never liked Fan Fan as a boss, period. Bugsy just beating on the fat people. He's a hater on the color pink. That's it. That's. I have discovered Bugsy's true mood, true motives. He's the hater on the color pink. All the real men out there, attack Bugsy now. Before it's too late. I just let that ladybug right into me. I have no comment about that. Also, I think this is the first time in the entire project I've ever had zero, zero lives. Unless I wasn't paying attention to one of the earlier clips where I had zero, zero lives. But this is still the first video that I ever... Yes. Also, this is with my new microphone that has Pro Kirby said in the Nightmare Fight video that it is a rock band microphone. Yes. Is based around the right Rockman microphone. Yeah, I beat Bugsy. So the question is, is I'm, am I gonna make it through? Fire Lion, who's purpley, pinkish, red, orange thingy, majigger. He's not red at all. Why did I say he's red? That was that was great timing. I'm just gonna say that that was great timing. I decided to get rid of backdrop because I'm feeling it's going to just be a big pain. I was expecting him to jump there. Jumps. And he's almost gone! I was expecting him to do a really long jump, so I tried to slide, and because of that... FIRST GAME OVER EVER! And you finally get to hear the game over music, and you can watch my score repeatedly go down and down and down. Level 7, Rainbow Resort. Here I try again, because I'm stupid. <laughs> so Bonkers went down easily. How will I fare against Fun, fun. I'm prepared this time, fan fan. Except not really. Because he still owns me. As owniness as ever. I jump right into him, so I have no one to, to blame but me for that. I inhaled the wrong way. That was just Kirby's fault. You in the wrong way, Watching this is like... It's like watching... It's like watching Friday. Which, ironically, it is Friday when I'm recording this. Also, I got another game over. I'm like, I'm debating it. I should continue, and my score go down even more. But the 
video is fading to black What because it's mean. It means I am going to destroy with the high jump ability. I had originally planned for this video to actually try singing a song here, but that, considering how well my Grape Garden song went, um... <laughs> So I didn't even get hit during one. But Fan Fan still gets me once. And I killed Fan Fan, yes! Take that, you overgrown ear elephant thing. Without arms. And Bugsy gets me once. I have one hit to my name. Two. Actually, two hits to my name, one hit to live. And that's the first time this red bugsy ever flew. Not blessed, because he just flew there. I'm being extra extra careful now that I have one hit left. And he's down! Yeah! And I slide into him. Because that doesn't hurt me either. Fire Lion, can I do it? Am I worthy of Bob the Builder? Fire Lion has no health left. Well, now he really has no health left. So, I just destroyed the boss tower with high jump. And as a reward, you get five one-ups. I think I lost seven or eight lives trying to do this, so... By, by the way, doing that was all Tor Kirby's idea. Honestly. So. Why am I trying to blame this on him? I'm just kidding. He didn't have anything to do with it. I like to blame it on him anyway, though. And wouldn't it have been funny if I died to the Blade Knight? Me <laughs> and I have got to admit, that would have been hilarious. Uh, there! Stupid boss tower. That, that's the longest clip I have. That first boss tower failure. And my next, the next clip makes up for that in sheer hilarity for me. I'm going against King Gidity with the best weapon ever. Aside from sleep, of course. The Parasol! And just watch. He can't hit me. <laughs> because King Dedede flinches every time he gets hit. I own him with a parasol. And he only hits me there because he trips. True to original Kirby Dreamland, he hits me only because he trips. But seriously. That was faster than Wispy Woods. I owned the Dedede with a parasol. <laughs> And now the Fountain of Dreams. Kirby's being badass once more. Yeah, he's begging once more. And hey, we get a nightmare fight without Tor Kirby commenting. <laughs> King Dinity takes action! <laughs> Chew. So now we're fighting the Nightmare War, then the moon slowly drifts out of visibility. Since I never explained the strategy behind Nightmare Orb, really what you want to do is just be on your toes at all times, and if at all possible, stick to the back. When he does, when he positions those four stars like that, and it's like, like that, all you need to do is get in the center, and the very far back, and no matter what way he throws them in, you'll always avoid it. If you want to try and do a no damage one of this guy, it's best to um, 
focus more on dodging and just try and save your hits for later. Oh, right here. Um, fun fact about the original Nightmare video, I had recorded a version of it beforehand. Here I was just trying to show the ground and stuff. And how it can crush you if you're not careful and take too long. Um, because in my original recording of the Nightmare fight, with Tor Kirby included, he was in there. He was disappointed that the audio corrupted. But, I never showed that, and so that was something else I need to tr sh I tried to show in the extras, but I showed it in the new take of the Nightmare fight, so that's redundant! Well, I never showed what, what it actually looked like, so, yeah, I guess we got something out of that. Something I would like to say is that I love how my drawing of Nightmare came out. It's just, it looks so cool. Except for the cape. The cape had like awkward proportion, but the top. I love how Nightmare came out. He just looks so awesome. I've never drawn him before. And upside. Nope. No upside down kill for me. Which is strange because usually I get it. Yeah! Lasers of light! Wait, no. Graphic image. Laser that might go into the sky. Here I am. 100% complete extra. You are amazing. Four times. Kirby, you've got some splaining to do. Kaboom. And I started the AV riot recording a little bit late on this last clip, but the credits, the bosses change. Instead of the main bosses, we have the boss tower bosses. And the actual original boss tower bosses. Not the crazy extra one that extra one that we that I saw earlier. Look at Curry imitating Mr. TikTok. Kubota. That's an awesome last name, Kubota. Emmy Masai. Jun Ishigawa Hikazaro Ando and Tadashi Ikegami. You guys are like the best guys ever. Because the Kirby soundtrack is one of my favorite soundtracks ever. And just Kirby in general is my favorite soundtrack. <laughs> Nate, Scott, Leslie, Bill. Most boring names ever. Arnold A. Myers II. <laughs> Tetsuya Notoya, he's the guy who draws stuff. I learned that from Tor Kirby. Original staff. How debug team. Super Mario Club. North something. NOID. Whatever. I don't know what it stands for. North Operations. I don't know. Iwata. Iwata. I don't know how you pronounce that. I are not good at Japanese. And the end. Now you can choose Meta Nightmare from the sub games menu. What is this? Let's find out. In the very last clip for this video. Meta Knight has set out his pract out to practice his sword play. Use his blade to clear the way. And what is this? All it is is. play as Meta Knight through the entire game. A THIRD TIME! What a reward this is. Meta Knight is pretty much 
Meta Knight. He has all the attacks he did in his boss battle. Plus, he has bat wings to fly with. Um, his attacks are pr are very, very similar to the playstyle of Sword in an upcoming Kirby game that is one of the most popular Kirby games. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. All well, except for the up attack, uppercut thing, whatever you want to call it. Also, you only have three hit points, just like an extra mode, so pretty much it's permanent sword plus the ability with bat wings. Um, you can't save in it, just like the original extra mode from Kirby's Adventure. You can save this for this the Nightmare Dreamland version of extra mode. You don't even get a goal game or the sub games. You just play through all the levels. But that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys next time when we actually do one more last one last thing, Kirby Nightmare Dreamland, and that's it. See you guys then.